Vanilla Samus. Oh, Jaime went Ganon against you. Oh yeah, it's like a, the replay of the matchup from last time. Oh, he and the, the changes are uh, from... It, oh, so the thing is, Samus's uh, J smash is weaker. The J Samus's up smash is weaker. Huh. It's stronger in the, in the US. Interesting. I was reading it the wrong way. On shield, not not too good of your fellow. I feel like this stage should be okay. good for Ganon because of the the really oh, low. I got so lucky plans. there. Yeah, because not, not get the tipper hit. Yeah, that shield. tip because the tipper just like breaks shield easily, right? Yeah, it's like eighty percent or ninety percent of your shield all is just oh gone. Oh my god! It's really nice. Here you go, a little edge cancel though. That's how you do it. Luigi has short hop perfect lands here. Nice. Wonder how. I, I'm surprised that he caught the roll with that down. Yeah. yeah. It was like really close. Just like an edge case. I would have thought it would have been over. Oh, uh, I was kind of scrambling there to get the edge card, but I managed to cover with that down tilt. Maybe it's just waiting. Uh, that's something Ganondorf is really good at, is uh, if you use your double jump, it can be super difficult to land, because his up air will just cover so much of that. Space. Yeah, up air and forward air. Ganondorf's a little bit floaty too, so he got out of that combo. Oof. I think Falco can just body Ganon. <laughs> Yeah, he, it's a, it's an interesting matchup. Uh, Ganondorf is pretty good at like slow turning Falco's recovery and just doing extended edge guards on him and gimping him. But if you don't let him get that neutral win, yeah, the pressure that Falco can put on is just really hard for Ganon to deal with. Yeah, so he goes Fox here, uh, which is kind of cool. Falco versus Fox. Yeah. And then That's takes always me to, awesome. Takes me to Pokemon Stadium. We're just going like full melee. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Yeah, I mean, Wario can combo Falcon, but Wario's neutral isn't. Or Wario can combo Ganon. But uh, Wario's neutral isn't that hard for Ganon to deal with. Whereas, like. In, or, like, Wario's pressure isn't that hard for Ganon to deal with. I mean, did a really good job on that first talk of just waiting me out as I was trying to edge guard him and just shined me. <laughs> and I thought I would get the Phantasm and trade his stocks, but he managed to make it back. Phantasm does some interesting interesting things in this matchup. Because uh, a lot of people will laser thinking they're safe because they're however far away, but then all of a sudden you're right in front of them. Yeah, yeah, because Fox's laser is like a big commitment. That's a long animation and you can't do anything once you start it. So Falco even like will have time to react to you using the laser and then he can just cover like all of your landing areas with the same phantasm. Pretty even game so far as well. I, I think it's like difficult as well for Fox to edge guard Falco sometimes compared to like a Fox ditto. Dude, I, I miss the old version of this stage. I like PS2. Oh yeah? Or whichever version was before this. I don't really have a preference. I thought it just looked better. <laughs> Pokemon Stadium 2 was the blue one? No. I was going to see the blue one, but I think that's in Project M? Oh yeah, I don't know. I think that, I think that might be the ball as well. I think the blue one is still green, but it had like a blue background. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so Luigi dude. the melee version. Noah is, uh... That's Vibrant from Arizona. He's really good. Vibrant. Oh, a little bit of a fumble there. Falco. Look at this mysterious Falco player. This mis. <laughs> Where did he come from? Oh, hi, man. <laughs> God, Falco's recovery. Last well, stock. It's a close game. So is Firebird any different from Firefox? 
yeah, it is. It's oh, it's a little faster, and it uh, doesn't go as far. Oh, you know, he had to do it to him. <laughs> that was a pretty high octane stock. Just lots of moves coming out there. That was a good game. Yeah, it was. It was, it was pretty close. I just love seeing the dynamic between uh, how Space Animal how Fox was back when he first started and how Space Animal was evolved. Oh, Zeebs. He took me to my favorite stage. Really wish we had just named this Criteria so that we don't have to deal with two Zeebs. I, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know anything about Metroid. Yeah, so it's wait. just like there there are different zones in Super Metroid, and okay. Criteria is the zone that encompasses the surface. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> so like uh, Zeebs is like the area with the acid. Like Zeebs is the planet. Or... Oh, okay. It's the name of the whole planet. Hello, Graham. And the, like, criteria would be like this part of the planet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that does make sense. Uh, some of the naming doesn't make sense. In, uh, like in Melee, you have Brinstar Depths, but like there's lava in it, I think. Which there's not. I don't know. It's, there's weird stuff going on. I might be wrong, though. I know Graves. Yeah, that's the one where the guy comes out and starts knocking the stage around. Yeah, I know like Craig's in the background, and he's in Brinstar, but I forget if there's lava on that stage. I think they really cleaned up his uh, edge carding in this game compared to the previous one. Yeah, I think just getting used to that phantasm. Once yeah. you, once you get used to it, like Falco's recovery is not great. It's not, but he does ha he does have a lot of mix-ups compared yeah. to like the Fox Ditto. So I think I keep getting hit out of Phantasm here. I think in my mind I was thinking I have to start using the like the up special more. I won't lie, Crate Kray scared me when I was a kid when I was when I saw him in melee. I refused to play on that stage. I liked playing on that stage. I thought it was like fun. How the uh... Yo, stinky. I had a really stinky active dive. imagination as a kid. I managed to make it back on the stage that time by using the up special instead of just doing the phantasm. Then again, I hardly knew anything about Metroid back then. Yeah, we, we had Super Metroid growing up. I remember being like just so disappointed. That was a good yeah. backer. That nice we, backer. we went the entire N64 without a Metroid game. Oh, so sad. <laughs> and then you, you guys got hit with Metroid Prime. Which was not the game we wanted. Like it was good, but it I, I never played it again after I beat it. Cause it, it just it wasn't it wasn't Super Metroid 2, you know? <laughs> it wasn't what we wanted. Yeah, Jaime went Fox. Uh, he went Ganon game one, and then he switched to Fox. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of downtime here. Jaime yeah, I see you guys talking. Theory. But it, uh, it didn't last long enough that the recording needed to be stopped or anything. Nice. It's just about a minute, I think. So yeah, I think Jaime's big adjustment in that game was mostly with his edge guarding. If you compared it to the first Fox game, yeah. He, even though like at the end he managed to cover the Phantasm with that back air and put himself in a position where he could have covered the up special afterwards too. And Jaime's back. How about that? Yay! Spoiler Stan alert: Stan Jaime Fox. has returned. I took him back to the same stage, even though I lost here, because I just really like this stage. It's, yeah, it's just a great stage. Like, I love the little details in it, and like, the platform textures are so good. 
I think the platforms are just straight from uh, the planet of this stage. Or maybe they're slightly different. But they look similar. Uh, I thought they were different. Yeah, I thought they were different. This is a little bit longer than it needs to be, that edge guard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, like, object there, that map in the background is, like, the same as on the planet Zebu stage. Yeah, I did notice that. Oh, Bert, where are you going? What Where's happens, J Fox? What happens if you use the uh, pet Bert when he's not there? You get yeah, it won't, it won't. It'll still go out. The arm will still go out. There just won't you be can, anything there. You gotta refund the points. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how to explain that. Can do that. By the way. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> the real question is why would you try and pet him if he's not there? Dogs Johnson uh, just played Loser Semis against Caleb, and that's the video we're going to watch next. <laughs> yeah, Falco can't go as deep with uh, those edge guards. I managed, to, I managed to wait that time for the shine. That's what he got me with in game one. Yeah. But that time I, I was aware of it, so I just stayed away. Kept my that was amazing patience. Dude, Falco... That's what Jaime forces you to do. I was too scared to go in early. Because <laughs> he's got the patience. Falco's back air is so strong. Oh yeah, it's a really good move. It's great. I had hoped that down air would have killed him. But I <laughs> managed to just phantasm his ledge get up. Hello, dogs. Like, Fox's back air just feels like nothing compared to Falco's. Yeah, Falco's back air is basically a buffed Fox back air. Does come out a little slower, though. Yeah, I've played Phoenix like two or three times, so I can have an idea of what's going on with the new characters. <laughs> yeah, like, a lot of the major differences are easy to spot, but then there are like little tiny ones that are harder to notice, like when a move is like one or two frames different or something like oh, that. That was just barely. barely. Yeah. That could have that could have changed the outcome of the set right there. Yo, Frey. In the end, Falco manages to take it. Taking down Jaime. Got my revenge. Don't know Falco.